This is the armrest in my wife's truck. It's got the phone charger built into it. We both run Mophie chargers on our iPhones, and to get them to charge, we have to kind of put them in and slide them down just to that point, and then it'll get it to light up. If I set it just down in here, it won't charge. Now there's a fix for that. I was watching one of P. Gamboa's videos this morning where he changes out the module for the phone charger for a 2018 model that will charge the iPhone 10. One of the things people have been doing is taking this rubber piece out, flipping it around 180 degrees, then the phone will sit in there and it'll be over the charging coil. So I'm gonna give that a shot. This is the charging lid for a 16 or 17. It has nine raised ridges and then a 10th ridge that kind of holds the phone forward. The problem with that is the charging coil is more towards the back. So when you put your phone in there and it locks down into place, it might not pick up on that charging coil. The 2018s have three coils spaced evenly, which makes it easier to charge. And they also eliminate this ridge here and put a 10th rib in. So what we're gonna do is pull this piece of rubber out, flip it 180 degrees to position the phone more towards the rear and over the coil. So open the lid, slip a pry tool in behind this plastic cover and pop it outward. You'll have to pop it loose. There are a number of these little push clips on here. They just pop it in place. It'll be pretty stiff. Just be careful not to snap the plastic. Now you're left with four screws holding the charging module on. Those are a T20. A T15 will work as well. And then seven more of these T20 screws holding on the rubber plate. This little rubber tab here is used to align it. We're gonna cut that off. So with all of these screws removed, this plate can come up and then the rubber pad can come off. We're gonna cut this off. All right, with that thing removed, we're gonna turn it over and put it back in place. Just make sure you've got this cord tucked in. Put this back up in a place. And snap it in. Okay, with it in place backwards, set it on there. Sweet. So if you don't have one of these center consoles that goes all the way forward to the dashboard and you want to add wireless charging, I've got another video where I did that in my 3500 that has a jump seat in the center without the charger. Just added a Mophie charger to it, pretty quick and easy. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. I've got some more GM upgrade videos coming shortly.